Elijah, really think about, you have worked so hard up to today, okay? You have done all this prep. And so, like, today's it. This is it. Well, what if only three people show up? Anyway, we're going to march. When you speak in front of them, that's what they're going to remember. I understand why you're stressed, mm -hmm. but these people care for you and love you. Just, just breathe. Whether there's 10 people there, whether there's 10,000 people there, I'll always be as proud of you, and I'll always love you. And your dad would be so proud of you today. Mommy always tells us that daddy's there for the big occasions. So I like, do I wish he was here physically, but do I know he's here spiritually? Yes. Ooh, that sounds beautiful. You feel good with yeah, the Yeah, I, I can feel it. It's warming up. <laughs> Tessie! He saw leadership today because he is um, exposing it to the world instead of keeping it to himself and standing up for what's right. He's helping a lot of people right now. Now they know, like, they can tell somebody and they can know that they don't have to be scared. So, um, it's about 12, 20-ish. And so the vibe is really good. I'm uh, anxious, nervous, excited. Elijah just wants the world to be a better place. And, I mean, how can you not be excited? Children are the future! Our children are Opportunity for kindergartners, for third graders, to say, I participated in a march is huge. You know, I made my sign, I went and marched, and I did that led under the guise of an 11-year-old. Educate!